Hello, and welcome to the Digital Currency Council's course on digital currency for accounting professionals. Digital currencies are becoming an increasingly important topic for accountants and other types of financial professionals. More companies are beginning to use digital currencies in operations or offer digital currency related services to customers. Additionally, regulatory issues and best practices surrounding Bitcoin and digital currencies are rapidly developing, and with that, demand for accounting professionals with expertise in this new domain. Proactive professionals are therefore now taking the time to fully understand the opportunities and risks that digital currencies may offer. This course is intended as a primer for those interested in exploring these topics and we specifically highlight the top 10 things you need to know about Bitcoin and digital currencies as an accounting professional. We start by walking you through the basics of what Bitcoin is, how it works, and its differences versus other assets and currencies. From there, we'll jump into an overview of the regulatory landscape and then we'll emphasize the key impact for you as an accounting professional. Specifically, we'll cover Bitcoin basics, including a Bitcoin transaction demonstration, an overview of what Bitcoin is and how it works, and some of the unique properties of Bitcoin that matter to you and your clients. Bitcoin regulation. We outline the current financial regulatory landscape in the United States and discuss how regulators are fitting Bitcoin into existing frameworks. We go on to discuss New York State's new bit license proposal and touch on the international landscape as well. How the IRS classifies Bitcoin For tax purposes, the IRS considers Bitcoin to be property and not currency. We'll see that this has a number of implications for how Bitcoin and other digital currencies must be treated from a tax perspective, including determining cost basis and fair market value, potential tax consequences for ordinary Bitcoin users, and tax consequences for businesses and those receiving wages or payment in Bitcoin. We'll also touch on various other accounting implications of digital currencies, including FBAR and FACTA compliance, new issues raised by digital currency technology, auditing digital currency businesses, and some of the software and tools to help with Bitcoin-specific accounting. Before we go any further, a note on some of the terminology we're going to use in this course. Specifically, we'll often use the terms digital currency, virtual currency, and Bitcoin interchangeably. There are many types of digital currency, but in this course we almost always mean decentralized digital currencies such as Bitcoin and its cousins. If we ever mean anything else, we'll note so specifically. This course is meant to be an introduction for accounting professionals. We cover many subjects at a high level in order to introduce you to a wide breadth of topics. You will likely have additional questions about specific subjects. Answers to many of the questions you'll probably have and further detail on many topics can be found in our certification course. And now, let's jump into Bitcoin basics to learn what decentralized digital currencies like Bitcoin are all about.